Welcome back my friends to another gutsy show that never ends. It's hello from Sasha the Guzzy Dog and it's hello from him. We've taken the old girl out to uh, lookout point on the main road around here. And looking out at the river valley, the mighty river which the government have decided they want to turn into a lake. So we're going to couple of years this will all be flooded you can see and they've put a new road and a bridge in the old road was down that way somewhere so yeah so <laughs> anyways yeah they're gonna wreck our valley but what the hell what do they care they're a thousand miles away down south We don't matter. Anyways, enough of that nonsense. I'm gonna got to start getting political and then I'll start getting angry, so I better not do that. Okay, so we got the old girl out. We have repaired, we have repaired the, uh, uh, the stud that holds the, uh, the head and the barrel down, the top one, with a piece of high tensile ready rod. And we've done about 40 miles and everything seems to be good so far. I also coated the exhaust pipe with a bit of linseed oil and copper coat mixed. And it seems to have antiqued it. I think antique is a good word, don't you? Antiqued it. Made it look old. <laughs> Maybe as old as a rider even. Um, yeah, so it's a nice finish, but one word of warning if you do that make sure the bike's outside when you start it because you won't be able to see for smoke for a while um so yeah the bike's going pretty good going pretty good um fiddle with the carburetors a bit just uh stop her from spitting she still wants to spit on this side a little once in a while um i don't know maybe we'll uh We'll put some new uh, needles and um, needle jets in. I don't know. I've got to order some parts for it, so maybe, maybe I'll, I'll just add them to it. I've been doing a bit more wiring, which is why why the uh, everything around here looks untidy. Don't look. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so we've wired in... We have wired in uh, our auxiliaries, so we've got um, switches and wires for two, for two lights. Uh, there's only one on it at the moment. Uh, pretty bright those. I hope they blind any motorists, or at least make the buggers take note where I am. Uh, you know what cages are like? They like to pull out in front of you and claim they never saw you. That's because they didn't look properly. The other thing I've put on is heated grips. Uh, my old hands have seen a lot of work and a lot of cold weather over the years. Minus 30, minus 40 for 30 years in winter takes its toll. I do like a little bit of comfort. Still won't go to a heated seat, but anyways. So yeah, so we've got that wired in. We've also got this little gadget wired in, which is one of those handy little things from China. It's got a clock on it, which, which I find useful. Uh, we've got a 12 volt outlet, cigarette lighter type outlet, two USBs, and we should have a, um, a voltmeter. I don't know if you can see you can barely see it. When, it when I first installed it the, the middle digit was faint and now all three of them are faint so you know typical Chinese quality but there would be a voltmeter there and I used to find it very handy for checking to see if the battery is charging or not but, you know Chinese what can you say what can you do really so I think what I might do is find a better quality voltmeter and put it in the hole where the ammeter would normally be on a Lucas headlight. Um, this little thing is to sit my um, 
uh, remote controller for my uh, heated jacket and gloves on. Again, I'm getting a bit old and decrepit. I did suffer hypothermia once on the trip back from the Yukon. And um, I swore after that that I would get electric gear, and I duly did. And, you know, it's... When I say it's a lifesaver, sometimes I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. If you can keep your body cool warm, you're on the way to... Um, to maintaining your health and, and what have you is it's no fun getting cold on a bike because this is Canada we've got extremes of temperatures and long distances and if you've got like a thousand fifteen hundred miles to get home and the weather is is turning shitty um, you either pull over and wait for the weather to get better or you turn on your electric gear and carry on and um, I've done that a few times and um, and it, it it is great. It's like riding in a car with a heater. You just turn on the heat and away she goes. I can't think of anything else to say. The bike is is running pretty good, really. Um, this, if you wonder what it is, it's got my tools in it. It's a welding rod holder with the obligatory sock on it, so it doesn't scratch the bodywork. Um, yeah. So nothing has fallen off yet. The only problem I've had is that stud. So I'm very happy. Brakes are getting better all the time. Um, I would think in its day, this bike would probably have one of the best brakes in the early 70s. I know for a fact the Norton on the Norton brake on my Commando is absolutely crap. But this is quite good. It's almost up to modern bike standards, almost. Um, and I think that's partly due to this, this master cylinder that I put on, the smaller diameter master cylinder, the half inch. I think that's due to that because all the reports I've read of this brake with a standard master cylinder, they said it was very wooden and very ineffective, but this does work. Um, so if anybody's got one of these bikes with a single disc on, you might want to try changing out the master cylinder before you go to double discs because I think I'm going to leave this bike the way it is um, the pads that are in it are EBC pads they came with the bike um, I'm not entirely sure what they are I imagine that they're the sintered kind I don't know uh, so we'll use these and then then we'll try the um, some new sintered what are they double H or something like that anyway We'll put some top-of-the-line pads in and see if that's any improvement. Um, apart from that, uh, nothing really. I haven't put the front cover on yet because I'm watching that belt. That is not a guzzy belt. That is a lawnmower belt, and it's stretching a bit. Uh, so I need to tighten up the tension and then see what happens. But it did stretch quite a bit. Um, I will get a proper guzzy one next time I order some parts from down state down in the states. So yeah, all going good. Very happy with her so far. Everywhere I go, she seems to get a bit of attention. People come and ask me if it's a BMW, and I have to resist the urge to strangle them. <laughs> only joking. Facebook, sorry, YouTube. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I don't really mean that much um so anyways so there we go the old guzzy is doing the business um and we're out enjoying the uh, the wide open spaces so until next time take care of yourselves look after one another keep the rubber side down keep the guzzy side up goodbye